there's a, a very large choice of materials on the market and it, as a consumer it can be very difficult to pick the correct material for the job because there's so many claims made and a lot of the products that meet the standards are suitable for bathroom work. Look, I would think to say if you could go to your local hardware store, and I won't mention any big brand names, but they would not have any materials on the shelf suitable for swimming pools. It, it's more of a, a specialised area. It, it's something that uh, the commercial contractors know more about. Um, the, the average tile shop sells materials suitable for bathroom work and domestic housing. Water resistance, bond strength, workability, flexibility during the construction stage. The materials have to uh, be able to deform to handle the environment of a swing pool. If we look around this pool, you'll see we have nearly a black coping stone put around the, the top of the pool. Well, that coping tile, or stone in this particular case, suffers thermal movement. It's going to get extremely hot in summer and probably hard to walk on, on a, in a very hot day. And so it's going to expand. And yet, here it is bonded to a concrete substrate, which is the concrete's going to be quite cool. So there's differential thermal movement taking place. And the adhesives and the screeds and the renders and the waterproofing need to be able to handle the differential movement taking place due to thermal movement. That's extremely important. So it's not just bond strength, it's, it's also flexibility. And flexibility gives you thermal movement capabilities. <laughs>